Good morning, everyone. I know this isn't the right time. I know, I know. Um, I am heading out of town today. We are going to see David at the Sight and Sound um, Theater in Lancaster, PA. So we are leaving early in the morning, so I needed to make sure I got on first thing in the morning before, um, before we left. So let me make sure I'm in the right group. I don't want to be in the wrong one. Yes, I'm in the right group. Okay, so I realized yesterday I forgot to show you my journal page yesterday. I was in such a rush to get some things done that I didn't get a chance to do it. So um, Wednesday's journal page was this one um, for from First Thessalonians, and it's talking about the word holy. And I, all I did was I um, I did one of my tracings of a hand holding a cross. Then yesterday's journal page was from Second Timothy. And uh, Paul was telling people that he was trusting them to teach others. And the whole idea of it was that you needed to be instruments for God's purpose and, or vessels for God's pur purpose. So I decided to get just a picture of a bowl and I just glued that in there. So um, those were my pages from Wednesday and Thursday. So today, uh, let me go ahead and start with today. So today is the 7th, October 7th, and our scripture for today is Exodus 3, 5, and it says, Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Now, this is one of my favorite Moses' stories. Goodness, that's loud. Sorry about that. Let me turn my volume down just a pinch. Um, so this is one of my favorite Moses' story. Every time I hear it, I can um, picture uh, God's voice just talking to him. Can you hear him? I can picture the scene. There's Moses. He's a shepherd. He's minding his own business. He's out away from something, and something catches his eye, and he sees fire. But as he gets closer and closer, he sees that that thorn bush is burning, yet the flames aren't destroying it. Suddenly, the Lord is speaking to him, and he's saying, Moses. And immediately, Moses says, here I am. Then God tells him to remove his sandals. Now, I don't think we normally think of taking off your shoes, um, making you more holy, or somehow that's going to put you in a better position with God. But by removing your shoes, it can be symbolic of leaving the world behind you and stepping into God's presence. Our shoes, more than anything else, are physically connected contacted to the ground and they are touching the filth of the world right so in a way they represent the uncleanliness of the world so when we come into god's presence we leave our shoes and their uncleanliness behind there are so many layers of symbolism in the bible that burning bush yet was not consumed thorn bush is a representation of jesus christ the wood was the cross where Christ experienced the flames of hell for us, but he lives evermore. The thorn brush bush was his crown, the promise of deliverance, and that holy ground was set apart for a specific purpose. God was asking Moses to go back to Egypt where he was number one on America's most wanted list because of killing the, uh, the um, slave, slave master. But this time, God is on his side. Instead of saving a Hebrew man in an act of anger, Moses is going to save the people by the power of God and not just by himself. So think of this as a lesson. James 1 tells us that anger never accomplishes the will of God. So when you encounter a situation that fans the flames of rage, stop, and while you're counting to 10, pray, and ask God for the right course because he is always going to give you the answer. So follow his voice. Follow his voice, not your own reactive voice. Okay? So next time you see a picture of um, Moses with the burning bush, um, this is the one I'm going to use today in my journal page. Whoops, let's see here. There you go. Uh, it's the one I have in the um, uh, scripture prompts that I have available in my um, $4.99 subscription. It's, uh, it's in the kit that I offer for $4.99 and it has the flame for today. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for today's journal verse. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Every time you hear 
this scripture, what does it remind you of? Um, let me know if you're watching the replay. Type replay in the chat. And I will see you on Saturday. Have a blessed day.